If you're a fan of wrestling, you're gonna love this guy. He's been my hero, looked up to him, one of the original barbers known all around the world, tag team champion, former professional wrestler, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. He's in the chair, coming up. And I can be the best barber the world has ever seen. Oh, he's got the scissors out. Snap him. Hey, Brutus. How are hey, you, buddy? Rob, hey, or do you prefer Bronx? Bronx is cool. Man, Bronx. Welcome to the Back Alley Barbershop. Back shop. Alley is right. This place is crazy. Thanks, man. Thanks. It's incredible. Hey, brought you a gift. A little special something from the barber. Awesome. To the awesome. barber. <laughs> That's it. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Be up on the wall with the other relics. I got a new pair of shears today, courtesy of Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I'm going to cherish these babies. There's no barbershop that's really complete without a pair of Bruce the Barber Beefcake special handmade shears. Okay, so we're gonna do a little trim here and we'll shave the neck, not too much. So what's going on? What's going on with you? Well, it's all good, man. I'm, you know, living the dream. I, um, in uh, my third, fourth year with my uh, uh, third wife, new wife. Nice. And, uh, Three's a charm, right, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. The first couple were, were disasters. Um, but I mean, things are really going great now, and I'm recently retired from the, from the ring, and and so you know. You I, miss it? I I I love performing in front of the, the crowds and it's everything. But I tell you what, it, it, you know, when you're getting old a little bit and the bones are creaking, and it's a hard life, right? The '80s was crazy, right? <sighs> wow. How was the '80s in the wrestling? Well, that was my era. Grandma would be babysitting. We'd be watching wrestling. You see this guy come down, like, was this guy really chomping this guy's hair off? That's what I wanted to ask you about was the, so the barber, first you were like, uh, were you a male dancer? Uh, what was the, the image was? It's kind of, yeah, male dancer thing, yeah. Male, male dancer. And then, WrestleMania three happened. <laughs> Man, 90, 93,000 paid attendance, over 100,000 people. Crazy. In that arena. What's the that whole like? Place What's was that like in there? What's shake, it like in there? Shaking, deafening. Where was it again? In uh, Pontiac, Michigan. That's right. A lot of wrestling fans. So oh, then, man. Adrian Adonis is on the ground. It was a haircut match. Piper. Piper was supposed to do it. Yep. And then he so handed I, you the blades. I brought the scissors out. I said, all right, brother, go to town. <laughs> he looked at me for a second. He goes, you know what, Brutus? I think you ought to do this. I said, really? Goes, yeah. Go, go ahead. And that's when it all started. And, and that was the beginning. But you weren't too happy with the beefcake gone, and now you're the barber. Well, uh, how was that transition? Uh, you know, there's there's never been a, a, a wrestling barber before no. in history. You know, sometimes. But the beauty of it is that your name was already set up. B B B. Brutus <laughs> right. the Barber Beefcake it was already set. It, it, was, it was like meant, destiny. It was meant to be. Destiny. I definitely think he's put barbers on the map, and now with the whole. Uh, re-energization of this industry, uh, I think it's great. And I love that it's been 30 years, this guy, and he hasn't been wrestling for a while, and people still remember him. But did you ever learn how to, did you ever go learn properly? Did you ever go to a barbershop? Did you ever learn to cut hair or ever want to cut hair? Did you, like, what'd you do for background for, I know the scissors weren't big enough, right? You mean you never saw my, uh... When you were with the barber? The vignette where the, where the barber went to. To the barber shop, right? The barber shop. Oh, was Vin that Plato? Vince, <laughs> Vince McMahon Sr.'s barber in New York. Oh, his uh, dad was a barber? Oh, no, no, no. But uh, Oh, his barber. Yeah, Vince's father, original barber. So you and went there, but you didn't go there regularly, right? You didn't no. have any... Well, I went there to take uh, lessons from the best. That's it. And, uh, man, did I destroy his barber shop. <laughs> <laughs> So um, they were glad to pass me my my license to cut hair in in the ring, no matter where honor, it was. The honorary license, because your haircuts, let's be honest, weren't the greatest, right? So, <laughs> well, I, if you ask any of the of your old uh, uh, opponents, haircuts, mine are just a little bit better. Um, but uh, he did ruin a bunch of guys. Any uh, major injuries for real, like real injuries that you can remember? Uh, not, in, out? not in the ring. Not in the um, ring, eh? You just you know, did the injury with the scissors. 19, uh, 1990, <clears throat> I had a, I was uh, partying with some friends on the 4th of July. <clears throat> yeah, I seen your scar here. He's got a scar from here to here. Is that got, what this story's got, going into? Yeah, I got a serious uh, boating accident when I can, uh, and, and, and nearly died. I mean, as close as you can come, and I was standing with the old St. 
What happened Peter there? at the Pearly Gates, Gates and, and Oh, you uh, went you went flatline? Uh, almost. I mean, as close as you can get. I was just just about there. And um, yeah, and the doctor said, you know, you're physically your body's so strong that it just wouldn't die. So you think I, the rest the the wrestling <laughs> career definitely helped that? Oh no, absolutely. They said you're the, the shape and the incredible will will to live is what saved you because 99.999. What was it? Fa you had your face all reconstructed here, it looks like here, the scars here? Yep. Major, though. I have eight strips of titanium. Wow. 32 screws. So you're like Iron Man then. Yeah. No, the, uh, you know, Steve Austin, the real, the million dollar, uh, yeah, six million dollar right. man. Six million dollar man. It, it, yeah. Mine was only about a million. Wow. But it was just my, that's and They said you would never do anything face. again. You wouldn't walk. You're lucky uh, to be alive. Well, I said, no motorcycle riding, no boating, no skiing. And this is right at the peak of your career, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Right the, at the peak. The peak, yeah. Devastating. Your career's over. Forget about life as you know it. It's over. That's what they said. So, yeah, he's got a, got a second lease on life. He's lucky to be alive, and uh, he's making the best of it. From the accident, which occurred in 1990, I'm an honorary wish kid. I had a charity event in November, uh, Brutus. I heard you uh, do some charity work, too. Yeah, it's called uh, Big Hair for Kids. It's the Canadian version of Locks of Love. Hey, Rob, excuse me. Can you squeeze uh, another haircut and a shave? No, I had no time for it. Just a guy wait there. I got no time for him. Did you meet Brutus, Pop? Here, this is oh, Br Brutus the Barber. Oh, what Nice hey, to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Another hey, fellow well, barber. Long time to see. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have time. Tell him to go away. Okay. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> I need a pair of these, though, I think. Ah, oh, this is my pride and joy, brother. Hey, you can go to right over to BrutusBeefcake.com. BrutusBeefcake.com. And there's a multitude of colors, and you can, you know, and you can get whatever, you know, whatever tickles nice. your fancy. Nice, brother. We got some of those. Always oh, awesome, man. You never even think of that stuff, watching this guy as a kid, that one day you'd be cutting his hair. It was unbelievable. I got some buddies that want some things signed, brother. Uh, but first, I want, uh, we're gonna go up into the shop later, but I want to uh, wonder if you can sign uh, that for me. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's Brutus that's the, the Barber one? action finger. Nice. Thanks, nice, man. my problem, man. I've signed a lot of these. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> we're gonna put that up on the wall. Nice. Okay, let's go check out the shop, my friend. I'll show you the rest of the place. All right, let's, let's do oh, it. Oh, hold on one sec. I forgot the most important. Sit oh, back down. Let's see. How's that? Look at that. Oh, man. Keeping the locks, brother. Yeah. The lovely locks. Getting a little hole in the hat up there. Ah, it's okay. We're, it's we'll keep bad, it down. Though. Not too bad. Not too bad. You're doing all right, my friend. Looking good. Spin you around here. Let's go. We'll go check out the rest of the shop. Lead on, my friend. Okay. Brutus loves the shop. I loved having him here, and I hope he comes back real soon. He's always welcome at the Back Alley Barbershop. <laughs> Back Alley Barbershop. You rock. <laughs> <laughs>